Today we are talking to author Richard Salzer. He is a retired doctor and has written ten books and received many awards. So, Richard, how did you find enough hours in a day to be a doctor, writer, husband and father? I was a general doctor, but I always thought I wanted to be a surgeon and was studying for this. However, when I turned 40, I abandoned that plan and began to write. It was at that point that my lifestyle changed tremendously. I gave up almost all of my free time activities. I would finish my work at the hospital, head home, spend some time with my wife and kids, have dinner, and then immediately go to bed around 7.30 or 8. At 1 a.m., I would get up, make some tea, and while the rest of the world was asleep, I wrote. Eventually, after three or four difficult years, my work started getting published. Did anyone offer you encouragement? Well, none of my friends tried to encourage me, as they didn't know I was trying to make it as a writer. In fact, friends and colleagues just assumed I was busy working and simply chose to stay at home in my free time as I wasn't very sociable. But of course, my wife and children supported and inspired me a lot. Are there any books or articles in particular you are happy to take credit for? Yes, I've always been extremely pleased with the first three chapters of Mortal Lessons. They are on reading lists in every medical school in the country, and so is my book Letters to a Young Doctor. However, the greatest reward is knowing that other people are learning from my work. That makes all the sacrifices I made worthwhile. How do you feel when you reflect back on your earlier works? Sometimes I think... Did that come out of me? Sometimes I'm embarrassed, but more often I'm pleased with the work. I can turn to a page and read part of an article and think, you know, that's not bad. I wonder if I could still do that. Do you feel your books will be timeless in the future? People still read the books that I wrote 25 years ago. I think that, in all honesty, some of my work will last. It has lasted for 25 years and I'm sure my next works will last another 25. This pleases me a lot. Do you have any practical advice for people who want to write about medicine? Yes. Become a doctor first, because a writer can't make a living. You have to support yourself and your family financially. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Honestly, though, writing is a very personal thing. It's like your fingerprint. No one else has exactly your style. A lucky writer will discover and develop his own style, but an unlucky one will always have to force himself to write in an unnatural writing style. When this happens, it's insincere and unpleasant. Writing is painful.